Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel IoT Frontier. Today I'll be showing you how you can quickly simulate Raspberry Pi and send sensor data to Azure IoT Hub. In the Azure GitHub samples, we can find the Raspberry Pi simulator that connects BME280 sensor which transmits temperature and humidity values to Azure IoT Hub. This simulator is not a customizable and you cannot change much of the connections and code so this is to be used only for this example and nothing else so i'll provide you the link in the description so for that now we need to change only the connection string in the code so the code has been written with the node.js example and in the node.js example it is trying to use some of the libraries and try to send the data which is temperature and humidity values so here we can only change the connection string here whenever we create an IoT Hub device. So let's go to the Azure IoT Hub. So we have to go to Azure portal and in the portal you should be able to see IoT Hub. So to work on this tutorial you need an Azure account. If you are a student then you can get $100 free credit from Azure. If you want to know more click on the top right corner of this video to watch the complete video. And also if you are not a student then you can also get a $200 free credit and by creating a free trial account and that also you can click on the top right corner. And in the one of the previous video I also explained you how to create IoT Hub. If you haven't watched it yet you can watch it now to create IoT Hub. So basically what I can do is I can go to IoT Hub. I have already created an IoT Hub so I can go to IoT Hub and under the devices I should be able to create a device. So click on this devices and in the add device you should be able to add a new device. So I'll give it a name as Raspberry Pi and I'll leave it without checking this edge device because we are using a, a basic IoT device and here we will be using symmetric key authentication for ease of use. If you want to use it, uh, the XY09 certificates, then you can use that. And I'll leave this auto generate keys as it is and keep it enabled. So click on save. So once I save it, I should be able to see that device has been created. And if I go to the device, I should be able to see some primary keys and uh, secondary keys, which are for authentication purpose has been created. The, un the interesting thing that we need is the primary connection string. This primary connection string has the host name, device ID and shared access key that is primary key. So this is very important and you should not share this with anyone. So I'll just copy this and I'll go to the simulator and try to paste it here. Once you have pasted that, you can just simply click on run. So within few seconds, you can see the messages to be sent to Azure IoT Hub. You can see message ID 123 and the device ID as Raspberry Pi web client and temperature is being randomly generated with the help of simulator and now this data is going to Azure IoT Hub. How can we monitor this? To monitor that we can install Azure IoT Explorer. So I'll give a link in the description so that you can download that. So now you can go to Azure IoT Explorer and try to add a connection. So here we need to add a connection string of Azure IoT Hub, not the device. So how can I go do that? So go to your IoT Hub. In the IoT Hub, click on the IoT Hub and go to Shared Access Policy. In the Shared Access Policy, you will be having a policy name called IoT Hub Owner and copy the primary string that is the primary connection string here and copy this and you can paste it here and click on save. Once you do that, your device will also be listed. All the devices that are available will be listed and you can click on Raspberry Pi. That is the device that we have created and go to the telemetry and you can leave everything as it is because we haven't changed anything like consumer group, etc. And click on start. So immediately what you can see is you can see the values that are being sent from your uh, simulator over here. 
So you can see the message ID is 50. We can verify whether our message ID is, has passed 50. Yes. So we can see 54 and immediately we can see 54 here as well. The time stamp will also be same. So this is how simple you can start sending the data to Azure IoT Hub using a Raspberry Pi simulator. So now I can just stop this here, click on stop button and it will stop. That's all for today's video. I hope this video is informative and has helped you understand on how to quickly use Raspberry Pi simulator to send sensor data to Azure IoT Hub. If yes, please type helpful in the comment section below. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.